Hey, does this ever happen to you when you post something to a Facebook page? Someone from your team immediately likes the post and they do it as the page instead of as a person. Or maybe you're just a little mystified these days by how to interact with Facebook uh, as a page uh, and as a person. You know, when are you going to be commenting or liking as yourself and when is it going to be the page that's doing that particular action? So I'm going to show you real quickly how to always be sure whether it's going to be you or whether it's going to be the page that's posting, liking, or commenting. So here's the setup. I'm on the Nourish the Dream page, which is one of the pages that I'm an admin for, and I am going to upload a brand new image and add some text, and i uh, going to do that to create a brand new post. Now I'm going to show you right over here in this little button, this is the page that's going to be performing this action, not me, despite whatever it may say elsewhere on this page, like up here where it says, I'm posting, liking, and commenting as David G. Johnson. Nope, not so true. Again, that used to apply, but not anymore. I always want to pay attention to what little picture is showing right over here in this little corner. So I've got an image that we're going to share on this page. I'm just going to drag that up there right now. And uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and post this and you'll see that it is the page that's doing the posting. So there it goes, and there you can see the, optic, the optical illusion. And it says, here it says, posted by David G. Johnson two seconds ago, but notice it's the, the image of the page and the, the page title that is the author of this post. Well, what does all of this mean? Well, to someone who's liked this page on Facebook, the Nourish the Dream page, they won't see David G. Johnson at all. They don't see my name. This is only visible to those of you who are admins on your page. The typical person who's only liked your page on Facebook will never see this content. This is just to allow you to keep track of who's doing what with your page, okay? So now, if I were to click the like button on this post, notice I've got this beautiful little picture right over here, and it tells me that if I do that right now, it's going to be the page, Nourish the Dream, that's going to like or comment. If I hit comment, you can see. Uh, commenting is a little easier because I always get a little image here that tells me which user it is that's going to be performing that action. But with liking, it's a little bit trickier. So I've got to pay attention to this over here. And like I did earlier, I can switch this to me. And now I personally can like this post or comment on it if I wish. All right. So I'm going to switch this back to Nourish the Dream. Now I'm going to click my Facebook logo up in the corner. Oh, wait a second. It's warning me. I haven't finished my post yet. Well, actually, I did finish publishing my post, but I haven't finished a comment, and I'm not really worried about the comment, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the page. And this is going to probably show up. Yep, sure enough, it shows up as the first item in my news feed right now. And my internet connection is a little bogged down here for some reason while I'm recording. But uh, you can see that this has shown up in my newsfeed. Now, this is really important. When you see a post from a page that you're an admin user for, whether you're a manager uh, a moderator, whatever your role is, if you're a, a, a user who has privileges on that page, if you see a post from that page in your normal newsfeed, even though you're not over on the page itself, this post just shows up in your newsfeed. If you just click like, guess what? By default, it's going to assume that you're the page. So you want to switch this over to you personally if you want to like it. And so that's what I just did. And already there's been a comment on this, which is kind of fun. All right, someone's tagged their friend in a post. Adam, thank you for doing that, buddy. Uh, appreciate that. So there we go. I've now liked this as me, the individual. Now, to, sh to show you that that's the case, I'm going to go back to the page. We'll scroll down here, and you can see that um, if I come back to the page, there it is. David G. Johnson personally has liked this post. So that is an important little key. Again, just watch for this little box. If you're commenting or liking, watch for this little box and see whose image it is, whose profile picture is going to show up over there. In this case, it's the uh, Nourish the Dream page. and uh, or, or if I you know, flip the switch, I can also switch to any of the other pages that I'm an admin user for, which is why you see all this other stuff showing up in the drop-down list. So if you manage only one or two pages, you're only going to see one or two items in that list aside from your personal Facebook account. Again, this is a Facebook feature that uh, has changed over time. It used to be that you could switch up here, and uh, we're using the Business Manager. So if you've not flipped over to using Business Manager, you probably still have the opportunity to switch to using the, the Facebook as the page right here. All right, so again, just watch for the little image over here. 
and uh, adjust as needed whenever you're going to like or comment on an item that comes from one of the pages that you're an admin user for. So just wanted you to have that quick tip. If you have questions about how this works, you can certainly ask them here with this video. Whether you're watching on YouTube, you can uh, post a comment in the YouTube comments. If you're watching this video on Facebook, feel free to go ahead and, uh, and leave a comment here and also share it with any business owners or friends that you have. And I encourage you to stop on by growthedream.com, which is another place where you can find this video and other content about how to grow your business using Facebook, social media, and lots of other modern day tools that'll help you get great results with very low cost. And uh, once again, on behalf of Grow the Dream, I'm David Johnson, and I appreciate you watching.